Welcome to the PowerClerk application tutorial series. PowerClerk is an easy to use web based tool that allows applicants to complete and monitor incentive applications electronically. In this segment, we'll walk you through the incentive claim process, the second step of a typical two step incentive program. Each solar electric incentive program has different rules and regulations that applicants must follow, and there are differences in each program's application process. No matter which utility or agency is administering the solar electric program you're applying for, PowerClerk will provide the information you need to successfully apply for a solar incentive. In a typical two-step program, you'll use PowerClerk to apply for an incentive reservation. Once the installation is complete, you'll log into PowerClerk to make a claim for the incentive. For more information on the reservation request process, please watch the reservation request segment of this tutorial series. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to file an incentive payment claim. Typically, you will be able to submit an incentive payment claim after your reservation request has been approved by the program administrator and installation is completed according to program guidelines. Check the guidelines for the incentive program you're applying for to obtain more detailed information on the process. Now let's get started with the incentive claim tutorial. In a typical two-step program, you'll be able to access the incentive claim form in PowerClerk once the incentive reservation has been confirmed by program administrators. On the left side of the application list, click the Edit link to begin filling out the incentive claim form. In our sample program, there are five sections to complete for the incentive claim form. Although these sections are representative of a two-step program, the sections in your program may be slightly different. In the first section, you'll update the project component information entered during the reservation request process. You may recognize this page from that process. Make any necessary changes to equipment and costs to reflect the as-built system. To add equipment, click the Add buttons at the top of the Equipment list. Click the pencil icon at the left of an item to edit it, or click the X to permanently remove a piece of equipment. Update system costs as necessary, and confirm that the correct incentive type is selected. Click the Next button to save any changes and move to the Payee page. The Payee page is used to collect information about the party that will receive the solar incentive. The type of information collected here is the same as that collected on the host customer and system owner pages during the reservation request process. As with those pages, if the host customer or system owner is the Payee, you can select Host Customer or System Owner from the Payee Is drop-down menu. This will fill the payee form with the selected party's information and link the payee to the host customer or system owner. If the payee is the applicant, installer, or the seller, you can click the Prefill with Applicant, Prefill with Installer, or Prefill with Seller links to fill in the form with the applicant, installer, or seller information that the program administrator has on file. The Incentive Claim Form page is the next section in the process. At this point, you're almost done with the Incentive Payment Claim. Click the Print button at the top of the Incentive Claim Form page to print a hard copy of the Incentive Claim Form and have it signed by the appropriate parties. If you're submitting documents electronically, you can scan the signed Incentive Claim Form for upload on the Paperwork Record page. Some programs may require you to check a box at the bottom of this form to acknowledge the program terms and conditions. After printing this form, click the Next button to proceed to the Paperwork Record page. The Paperwork Record page provides a checklist to help ensure that all required forms and supporting documentation have been submitted. If you plan to physically mail your documents, simply check the box next to each document required for your application. If you're submitting documents electronically, use the Add Attachment link at the right of each required document to upload the file from your computer. As with the reservation request process, some programs require all documents to be submitted electronically, and others require all documents to be submitted either electronically or by mail. 
Items that must be physically mailed are noted as such in the list. To find information about your program's requirements, refer to the information at the top of the paperwork record page, or check the program guidelines for detailed information. To ensure you're submitting all the necessary documents with your application, please review the guidelines for your program. After you've finished uploading the required project documentation or indicated you will send it via mail, you can click the Next button to proceed to the Submit Application page. The Submit Application page is the final step before submitting your incentive payment claim. If your application is incomplete, the Submit Incentive Application button will be disabled, and this page will display a list of the information that must be completed before submittal. If all steps are complete, you may click the Submit Incentive Application button to submit your incentive payment claim. Before submitting the incentive claim form, make sure that the system installation has been completed in accordance with your program's guidelines. Click the Continue button to continue to the incentive application list. This concludes the incentive payment segment of the PowerClerk application tutorial series. In the Reservation Request segment of the PowerClerk application tutorial series, we demonstrated how to request an incentive reservation for your project and check the status of your application. In this screencast, we've shown you how to request payment of the incentive for your project. With PowerClerk, you have the power to efficiently and effectively manage your solar incentive program applications.